I'm Celeste, and you're watching Babylon News. And I'm Gabriella, and today we bring you some incredible coverage of the birth of Jesus. We will be hearing from multiple witnesses on a first look at this extraordinary event. Check in with our traveling reporter. What a time to be alive. I know, right? The birth of our Messiah makes me excited for our journey. We have started our journey from the east, and we are so excited to be walking 500 miles. Oh, come on. It's going to be exciting. We get to see God's creation by starlight. Yeah, be quiet. This will be fun. Celeste and Gabriella, back to you. Next, we have an exclusive look at where Jesus was born. First, let's check in with our spot weather reporter in Bethlehem. It's a beautiful silent night tonight, Gabriella. It is? Yes, all is calm and all is bright. In fact, it is very bright. A new star is in the sky tonight and it's lighting everything up. It seems to be sitting right over the place where the baby Jesus was born. The heavens are giving us the good news. We have a few witnesses, eyewitnesses, that will give us their accounts of this miracle. I am here with Mr. Donkey, who was one of the few who were there to see newborn baby Jesus. Mr. Donkey, can you tell me a bit about what you felt when Jesus was born? It was very bright. I felt so much love. Would you say that you felt God's presence? Presence? Where? Not presents, presents. Did you think God was with you when Jesus was born? I felt God with me everywhere. So you carried Mary all the way to Bethlehem, right? Yes, I did. That must have been a tiring journey. It was definitely, but it definitely was, but it was worth it to see Jesus. Hello there, Camel. How are you? I'm so great. Now, why is that? My, my, Messiah is here. my Messiah is here. How excited are you to see what he does for the world? He's excited. I'm here with Sheep, and she has some very important things to say about what she saw at the scene. Now, Sheep, what did you want to say? Ba. What? <laughs> ba. Did you hear the question? <laughs> ba. <laughs> well, aren't you going to tell us what you wanted to say? Ba. <laughs> okay, last chance to get airtime. What did you see? Ba. How wonderful it is to hear from so many witnesses. That's too right, Gabriella. It really is a blessing to hear from all of these people and how it affected them. Let's check in with our traveling reporters. Celeste, Gabriella, we're so tired. It's been so long. I can't even see the star anymore. Come on, you guys, we're on our way to meet the savior of humankind. Have some energy. Shh. So annoying. Hey! Guys, stop fighting. We're on air. Whatever. We're nearing the end of our journey. We'll check in again later. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, and now for our musical guest, Caden Soon Thornsima. <laughs> Star of night, star with bright no 
if you liked that, stay tuned and join in for a beautiful rendition of the Magnificat later. All right, I think it's time that we hear from our favorite guest star. What do you think? I absolutely do. Let's give him the spotlight. Take it away, Gabriel. Hello everyone, Archangel Gabriel here. Today I'd like to tell you a little more about my role in the story. I was having visions about two important babies being born, so I decided to go to the parents of these children, Mary and Zechariah, and tell them what I had seen. Zechariah and his wife Elizabeth, Mary's cousin, had been having lots of trouble having a child, but I had seen that they were to have a son, John. I told Zechariah to complete a week of ministry and Elizabeth would be with child. They had faith in God and did what I told them. Once Elizabeth was about five months into her pregnancy, I thought it was time to go see Mary. I told Mary that she would be having a child and that she was to name him Jesus. I could tell that Mary was in shock about all of this, so I told her that even her cousin Elizabeth was pregnant, so this is all true. If you would like to learn more about my role, you should read the awesome book I'm in. It's called The Bible, and you can find me in Luke chapter 1, verses 10 to 38. I'm truly honored. It was very nice to hear your story firsthand, Gabriel. Thank you. Up next, we will all sing together the words that Mary said after talking to Gabriel.
really teaches us a lot about Mary. Don't you agree? Absolutely. And what a beautiful song it is, too. All right, now, let's check out a clip from Shepherds and Relatives of Joseph. I was so startled when an angel came while we were resting. But the angel said, do not be afraid. I am bringing you good news of great joy. To you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, the Messiah, the Lord. I was afraid and suddenly the sky was full of angels and they sang glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to all people. Wow, and then you came to our house to see the baby. I thought it was so wonderful how Mary gave birth at our house, don't you? I do. Everybody thought of stable meant a barn when it's really our guest room where we bring the animals in at night. I thought it was a barn too. I'm glad it wasn't though. It would be a lot colder. Thanks for tuning in. I think it's time for us to check in with our traveling reporters one last time this show. The star didn't fail us. We made it to Jesus. You were so right. This was more than worth it. I can already feel the joy that he'll bring to the world. Does this mean we get to sing it? I think Celeste and Gabriella have to say goodbye first, but you'll know I'll be singing. Thank you for joining us on our journey to Jesus. I'm Balthazar. I'm Melchior. And I'm Caspar. Bye. Thank you all for tuning in today. We won't keep you any longer. But we must end with tradition. Have a joyous day!